Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today, we are going to take a look at a Rush clip from their very last tour, one of the last shows, uh, and it's for a song that they rarely played. It's Losing It. And they're playing this song with one of the members of the Clockwork Angels Tour Orchestra. The violin in this song is by Jonathan Dinklage, who has also played with such people as David Bowie, Lou Reed, James Taylor, and Lady Gaga. So he's got quite a pedigree. I mean, it goes, the list goes on. George Michael, Barry Manilow, Lizzo, you know, and of course Rush. My understanding is he really wanted to play this song with Rush, and so I think actually the band thought, well, that's a good idea. Why not do that? And so it's one of maybe only four or five times they ever played Losing It, and it was only on this tour. And I thought, well, it's a really beautiful track. It comes from Signals. It's the second to last song on the album. It's one of those having to do with people breaking down over time and their abilities change, whatever it is that they're really skilled at, and kind of watching that happen. And it almost seemed like the right song for this tour, in a way, since Neil was walking away after this and was thinking this was too much <laughs> at this point. In all respect, he gave us everything we could have asked for. I mean, he was in that band for 40 years, so what more can you ask? Okay, so Adrian, any uh, thoughts or comments ahead before we start? I'm just looking forward to hearing this. I haven't heard it in a while. Well, let's go ahead and check it out. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'd like to uh, we'd like to diverge or take a detour from our normal script tonight. To play a song that we've only played one other time. That was just last week. We have a very special guest joining us on stage tonight. Our alumni from the Clockwork Angels String Ensemble. A native son of New Jersey, Mr. Jonathan Dinklage, please. This is called Losing It.
mesmerized by that violin. Yeah, wasn't that something? Yeah, I, I kind of forgot what an entertaining song this is with all the different musical scenarios present. Yeah, that is no easy song to trot out, you know, <laughs> to just play a few times. So uh, really nice of them to do that. Yeah. If the story is true, I mean, my understanding is he asked for this song so he could play it in, maybe in front of the hometown crowd. But fantastic, really nice job. And how many other times have we seen somebody else up there besides the full orchestra or string ensemble they had for uh, Clockwork Angels playing with Rush? Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen them with a guest on the stage. Yeah, I can't think of a time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going through my memory banks, and I cannot think of another time that this happened. So that's very cool. That's very special. And, of course, this is right at the very tail end of their career, you know, so very classy. Also, there's this guitar riff. For some reason, I always considered it a classic for some reason. You know, the one, yeah. the one. I don't know. To me, I always thought it was a classic for some reason. It yeah. definitely deserves to be a classic. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's an easy one to remember. It's an easy one that you'll be walking along and suddenly it's in your head. You're mm -hmm. like, what happened? I didn't summon this, did I? Oh, maybe I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. It is good work. I mean, the whole song is really kind of a masterpiece just buried in the albums you know like like he said that was time number two that they'd played it and uh, i think the grand total by the end was four maybe something maybe five total mm -hmm. on that song so really really cool yeah. anyway so extremely unusual kind of hoping or I, I don't know if that's out i don't think it, i don't think it's on the disc it must not be because i couldn't find any hide nor hair of it in pro shot, but that was a very cool performance, and I'm really glad we saw it. Yeah, uh, in front yeah. of his hometown, you know, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that must have been pretty special. Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, folks. Well, why don't you let us know what you thought of that performance and all the stuff going on around it, all the circumstances? Uh, would be interested in your opinions, <laughs> your general thoughts. Uh, just leave them below. Okay, and of course, we're going to keep going with Rush. There is a chance that we may eventually repeat a song because there are new versions of some things out that we might want to take a look at. In the meantime, leave suggestions for us and we will look at them. And thanks for joining us on this one. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. And we will catch you on the next one, folks. Take care. See you all later.